Hi there, so I'm going to show you how to make um, one of these lovely peonies from our Crate Paper Peony Kit. Um, you can find these kits on our uh, website um, in our shop. Um, it's www.bergenandbath.co.uk um, and this is what it makes. It makes a um, beautiful peony flower uh, with a little bud on a stem um, with some leaves. So um, I'll show you how to get started. Inside the kit you'll find a, um, a template with all the pieces that you'll need um, for the bud and the petals and the leaves. Um, and what you need to do is first is cut all those pieces out um, in one go and then you won't have to keep coming back for them. I'll put them in a little pile so you know which bit's which. Um, this peony in um, the kit that I've got here is um, this beautiful pink, pale pink um, Italian crepe. You have two pieces. Uh, the larger piece um, is for the main flower and the um, smaller piece is for the bud. So we'll start with the flower. Um, once you've cut out your petal pieces, you should have uh, four pieces like this. Um, and I'll show you how to uh, fold your paper to cut it to get the best out of, out of this piece because there's plenty here for all the petals that you need. So what we're going to do is Constantina fold the, the crepe. You make one fold and just work out how big you need to make it. So if we start with the biggest petal and we need five of these. So if we Constantina fold it five times, so that's one, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. You can see that. So we've got one layer two layers, three layers, four layers, five layers like that. And if you cut out a rectangle, the size that you need, and put the rest of the paper on one side. And then when you cut round this, you'll have five individual petals. Just hold it steady. If you cut a template, it's a guide. I mean, obviously they need to be roughly this shape, but I wouldn't get too hung up on it because obviously petals on a real flower vary. They're slightly different shapes, different sizes. So I wouldn't get too hung up. It. And we're going to shape and, and create texture within the petal anyway. So um, that is your first petal. Keep those in a pile. And there you can see you've got one, two, three, four, five individual petals. So I'll show you how to, to fold the paper to get the next one out. So if you take the paper, which you have here, you see it's got like a little step in there like that. So if you um, take your next size up petal, the next, the next biggest one, like this, and Constantina, you need to get nine of these, it's written on that petal, you want nine. So again, lay that on top. If you can see that. And then fold to get nine. So that's two, three, four, five, six. So if you paint, um, place the the round edge of the petal at the bottom of the paper here. Um, I'll show you why in a minute. So if you cut round these pieces here, a sharp pair of scissors and a blessing.
So there we now have nine pieces. If you're like me there, you've missed, you've gone a bit close to the fold, you can just snip that through. So you've got nine little petals there, so we put that on someone's side. Um, now the reason we put that on the bottom of the pet, the pet, the, um, yeah, bottom edge of the paper for that one is because we're going to use these little indents here for the next size up petal. These fit in nicely just inside of these little bumps. So if you put one petal on there, we only need seven of these. If you fold them back, the um, petal placed on top, you can see that fits nicely on top. We've got, I don't know what there. So you can cut that out. Put that to one side. So you can see the petal sits into the little indents of the piece you cut out last. seven little petals there and then you've just got your last petal here which we need five which you can get out of this last piece so you can just place that on there get five little petals out of that So you should have all your petal pieces 